What's up, guys? What's going on? These trying times out here, man, it's getting ugly. Like, like, for real, for real. Like, for real ugliness, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's pretty bad for us truck drivers out here, too. You know, I want to welcome you guys to the podcast. And uh, in this topic right here, you know, I just want to come on and just... Uh, just chop it up with you guys, you know, just, I, I, I got something to say. I got something to say. What's going on, guys? Lockout men here in the truck on the 30. I am up in Alabama. I am on my way back home, but right now, I, I really don't even know why I am even going back home. Other than the fact that I got to do a 34, but... I mean, really, when going back home, it's like going to a ghost town right now. You know what I'm saying? Every, every Everything is shut down. Everything. You know, well, not everything, just just about everything. You know, we, we, we can't go and sit down and eat. We got to go in and take out. Or if we're in the car, we got to go through the drive through. Um, no, nowhere to go. Uh. No entertainment, no movies, no no casinos, no nothing, no nothing. So, I mean, for us truck drivers like myself, that's, you know, that, that my my family, my, my kids grown. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I, I enjoy going home to them, sitting down, chilling with them. But I, I don't want to be cooped up in the house. You know what I'm saying? But um, as as it is right now, is 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 where we at? We're we're cooped up in the house. We're we're cooped up in the trucks. You know, they 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 declaring curfews, mandatory people stays in the houses and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's kind of. It's kind of crazy out here. It's kind of crazy. But um, it's going to get worse before it gets better, though. It, it's it's going to get worse before it gets better. But you know what, though? This, this is what I got to say to you guys right quick. You know, by next week, they're going to have all of us confined, quarantined to our houses with the military to watch over the streets. You know what I'm saying? It's coming. Martial law is coming. You know, it's uh, it's crazy now how they uh, how martial law is, is is coming up in here. You know, martial law is just going to just going to turn around and take over everything. It's, it's going to be lightweight chaos. You know, maybe they might have it up under control. Hopefully by next week, by next month, this will just be all over with i'm hoping you know i'm hoping and and i'm praying you know I, I i stay prayed up i stay prayed up more now than i did did i ever did you know what i'm saying i, I don't want to walk around nobody that's that's sick or walk around somebody that is sick and you know but like i said before it's not what's going on right now Right now, it is not what's going on right now. It's it's about what's afterwards. Everything that's going to be after this. You know, now you're going to start looking at people different. Like, when somebody cough, like, if they, like, behind you or something like that, you're going to look around. You're going to be like, you know, you're going to look around. And look at that person and be like, really, nigga? That's how you're going to be like. You're going to be like, yo, you, you just you just cough around me? Like, like really? Really, nigga? I, I don't know. I, I, might have to, I might have to scoot your ass back or something like that, bro. You're going to have to get away from me, you know. How, how it is going to be in, in businesses now, like, you know, like back in the day, handshake used to be the used used 
used to be the term, but now you're going to be afraid of shaking people's hands now because because of this pandemic epidemic that 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 started a fear of of social distancing. Where did get that word from? Social distancing. Is that is that even a word? All grocery stores will be closed. The streets will be empty. The unprepared will be mad. They say, wait. The unprepared will be mad saying that this is way too far. Only because they was not prepared. I think about that. Being unprepared. I think about that. A lot of us was not ready for this type of epidemic we just wasn't you know we we go on about our business you know we go on we go on about our day oh hold on right quick hold on you i'm here oh okay okay you okay you here now you here now yeah her i'm her <laughs> <laughs> All right, stay by your phone. Oh, wait a minute, so are you doing the podcast now? A lot of us is not prepared for this. We we was not prepared. And the people that was that that wasn't prepared are the ones that's that are afraid. Because they don't know what's what's going to happen. They don't they don't know what's the next thing that's that's going to happen out here. So yeah, the unprepared, you know what I'm saying? They you know, it's these times like this is that you got to be a little bit more attentive about what's around you, your surroundings, you know. These will attempt to sneak out and rob you. And when you call 911 to report it, they will not show up. No matter what neighborhood you live in, you will be left to protect yourself and your home. Some will be wounded. Others will die. The rest will get away like a thief in the night. You know, I got, you know, I, I, I got my piece. It's at the house. My son knows how to use it. He knows how to protect himself and protect his family while I'm not there. So I, I feel sorry for the poor soul that try to that try to be in in uh in my house. I, I, I really do. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be pretty for you, bruh. <laughs> it's not gonna be pretty for you. I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So please, if if any if if anybody out there that's thinking about doing some ill shit, right now is really not the time to do it. You know. You got more people out here buying guns than a little bit. You know, I mean, pawn shops and, and gun shops, <laughs> business is good right now. <laughs> so please, if 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 you're you're a petty thief or a small time B and E guy, don't 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 test none of these people doing these trying times, man. Protect yourself. It's not worth it. It really isn't. You know, concealed, ca ca uh, uh, carrying concealed is is real now. You you don't know who has a gun. You walk up on that person and try to rob them. Of course, they're gonna shoot you dead. They ain't gonna try and they ain't, they ain't gonna try and shoot you to stop you. They're gonna shoot you dead because this this pandemic fear got everybody in a tizzy right now and 911 you know they'll send somebody but now with all this going on they gotta prioritize now everything is a priority you know it's like it's like do we go here or do we go here is this more important than this I mean, think about it. Think about it. You don't. You you don't want to. If 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 you're a small time petty thief type of dude, you you don't you really don't want to test nobody right now. This is not the time to be testing somebody out here. 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know. Use this time to restart your mind by praying, fasting, meditating, and mending relationships with the people in your homes. This, this is the time. This, this is the time to get right. This is the time to actually not take stuff for granted. This is the time to, if you had relationships in the past that was pretty bad, maybe this is the time to mend it. Maybe this is the time to reach out to that person and say, yo, you all right? I'm just checking on you. I mean, I know that me and you haven't, you know, me and you fell out and all like that, but, you know, I I just want to, I just want to call and and make sure you're all right. This is the time to 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 come together and 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 do get your mind right. You know, this is it, because right now, like I said, it's not what's happening now. It's what's happening afterwards. Afterwards is what's happening, you know. Are you going to keep doing the same thing that you was doing prior to, to the pandemic? You know, now that this pandemic got you changing up the way you live in now, are you going to go back to the way that you was living? You can't, right? I mean, check it out guys and this this is to the guys this this is to the truckers too because you know i had a i had a conversation with uh with a good friend of mine and you know the conversation was like yo is you gonna is you gonna do you know like what is you gonna keep bouncing from female to female to female to female or are you gonna bounce with that one female you know what I'm saying? Are you get are, are you truckers out here? Are are y'all still gonna be messing around with these uh parking lot women? You know what I'm saying? I mean that that's something that is, <laughs> that's something to think about. You know what I'm saying? The parking lot women goes from truck to truck to truck to truck. You know, giving giving dudes commercial uh relationships. Uh, commercial companies are you guys going to partake in that commercial company with, with, with that female knowing that she just got out of a truck servicing another guy and by the way that video that I'm going to put that together so that you guys can listen to that uh, but are you you know are you going to go back to the ways of what you was doing prior to prior to this pandemic but this is the time to get yourself right though you know what i'm saying right now i i'm i'm saving money that i never thought i would be saving i'm saving more money because i'm not going to the casino i'm not playing poker i'm not i'm i'm not trying to chase a straight chase a flush chase a full house that that's going to change that's going to change my thought process now how i'm going to you know use my available money now that i got money that i'm saving that hundred dollars here that fifty dollars there now that hundred dollars here and that fifty dollars there is being stockpiled Have you guys seen what Las Vegas look like? It looks like a ghost town. Here. Let me, let me show you right quick. Let me show you. Hold on. Let me show y'all what, what Las Vegas look like. This is this is a strip. This was Las Vegas Since like. being here, it's been a little Oh, there we go. When you think about our state. Hold on right quick. 
I'm about to show y'all. Here it is. This is what Las Vegas looks like being right here, now. It's been a little bit of like the walking dead a little bit. Like there's hardly anyone around. We've been to Vegas multiple times and I've never seen the streets like this. I mean, we totally understand like why and they're taking precautions and that's understandable. So, I mean, it's for the health of, you know, and safety of Americans. So it's, we understand. <laughs> A normal day in Las Vegas is a full strip, over hundreds of thousands of people throughout the boulevard. Fun, excitement. Right now, it's like a ghost town. You don't see it so. That's what I'm saying. That's what Las Vegas look like. Let's see what uh, shit, shit. Let's see what New York looks like. Hold on, let me see if I got uh if I got video for you guys. Las Vegas is 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 a, a huge uh, huge city, you know what I'm saying? And everybody everybody goes to, you know, everybody goes to New York, you know? I'm trying to see if I can get it. But take my word for it. The streets are bare. <laughs> ain't, ain't nothing going on. Nothing going on at all. <sighs> Meditate your mind, people. Take this time to get right. You know what I'm saying? Take this time to fix relationships. Save money. For the people that are still working, of course. Um... And 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 just get right with yourself. Find your inner strength to beat those bad habits and use this time wisely. Now, this is the time that I am using wisely and I am beating my bad habit, which is playing poker, going to the casino, blowing money that I don't have. And I'm taking this time to seriously cause to, to mend and fix that. I mean, if this hadn't happened, I would be at the casino right now. Sitting next to somebody eating, somebody playing with their chips. But I got I got sanitizer though. I always take sanitizer with me to 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 the casinos. I'm gonna start taking it more so now than I ever did gonna have that big Perel bottle that they charging $35 a WAP for $35 Joe if you don't believe me listen to what this dude had to say he said he said it was $35 let me see he said it was $35 for uh for some Perel Let me see. See, I can't find it. <laughs> see, I it every time every time I want to find something, every time I want to find something, I just can't find it. I don't get it. <laughs> that shit funny. But oh, excuse me, excuse me. But yeah, he said it was $35. Crazy, right? Crazy. $35 for some Purell at this at this local bodega in um in New York. Scary. Oh, here it is. Hold on. Hold on. Here it is. Here it is. I think I found it. Yeah. That's New York. Okay, see, now I got a buff on it, you know. But yeah, that's New York though. Okay, see it got a it got a rebuff and all like that. So I think the internet is kinda slow. There we go. There we go. But yeah, that's New York right there. New York City. This is the first time in a long time that you see the streets of New York this empty. 
only a few people walking, only a few people on the streets, only a few cars. The theaters closed, Starbucks closed. Life as you know it has changed. It's changed. And it's only going to get worse before it gets better. And when it do get better, and, and, it, and it will get better, y'all. It will get better. Don't just take my word for it. It will get better. When it does, just make sure that the habits that y'all, that you guys pr produce now, just make sure it's the habits that you're going to continue with. If you wash your hands more, continue to wash your hands more. If you sanitize, have sanitizer more, continue to have it. Watch your surroundings. Use this time wisely. I pray you know God and have faith and courage and are ready for the in invitable, invi invitable. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Because it is happening, y'all. That's all I wanted to do. I, I just wanted to come on here and, and, and read this uh this little thing to you guys. Let you know that I care about you. I'm hoping that you're all right. I'm praying for you. I pray that you the choices that you're making today will be positive and healthy choices that you make in the future. So with that said, you guys take it easy. You guys have a blessed one. And again, like I said, I, I'm i with you. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, you guys want to talk, call me up, and I'll chop it up with you. You know, I like that. I'll, I'll chop it up with you. Leave me a message in the DM and leave me a message in uh, uh, in in the uh, Gmail, lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. Hit me up there, you know. You got anything for me to talk about? Any topics or anything like that? Yo, get at me. Let me know what you want to talk about. You want to come on the podcast and chill with me? You know, do an interview or something like that? Get at me. You know, book. Let's let's book. Let's chat. Let's talk. Let's let's hit them up. Let's do it. And on that note, everybody, we are gone.